Roger that. BRV2 en route. Hey there folks, this is Barry's Best Honey, I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to another day in my 2020 beekeeping season, where I take you all the way from winter through to the next fall here in my small operation in southeast Louisiana. And as has become my phrase, this is not a how-to video. It's just me documenting my season and having a good time doing it. Well folks, we are on the way to a swarm call. But, I don't know if they are still there or not. So, if you are seeing this video, they were still there. My God, is a, a fella called me. He knows me. I got a swarm off his yard last year. And he's got a cousin or, or something. A cousin or uncle. He's got kinfolk uh, that live another town over. And he had bees in a crepe myrtle tree yesterday. He, uh, he forgot to call me. So, he could give me a ring this morning. And I said, well, shoot, you know, it's one of them days I'm off work until we go back. Uh, so I'll just take a ride over, get out of the house and ride the back roads anyway. Don't have to stop anywhere and don't have to uh, get out or anything. So it's a point A to point B type of trip <clears throat> through, the, uh, through, the back, through the back roads. I'm going to go see what I can do about this swarm. He said it's a small one, sort of like the one I got out of his yard the other day. So uh, I got a nuke and I got a deep, you never know. And I got my stuff. And I'm going to go see Can I uh, see if it's still there. But uh, he says it's pretty easy to find. So I'm going to go look. And uh, again, if you're seeing this video, we found them. But we did have a little bit of rain this morning. And expecting more rain today. I suspect they might have moved on. But hey, it's a nice day to ride around. And maybe I'll open up the windows and get some fresh air. Although it is 80 degrees and humid. Oh. Alright guys, let's get on down the road. Alright guys, we've made it out here to the scene. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show y'all what we got. Alright, there it is right there. Probably two pounds. Pretty good. Pretty good size. So we're going to do the scoop method first and see what we can figure out. So let's scoop them up and see if we can find a queen. All right, I'm gonna put this on, see can we find a queen. Anybody got bees around here? Okay. So you got a, you got a hive already here, that's where they come from. Yeah.
All right, guys, so I'm looking for and scooping, but it's starting to rain a little bit, and they started getting a little stingy. Basically, they were getting on my sweaty head, and one of them stung, and that caused a few more to sting, so I'm going to put my veil on so it's a little harder to find her. But now they got my veil, I'll probably go ahead and shake them down after a couple more scoops. I'm not going to spend a ton of time. Oh, there she is. Got her. Yeah, that's it. We'll get her. We get her. We we got it. All right. So we look. We found a very very dark small queen. We're gonna hope that's her. So we're gonna tie her off. Don't know if y'all can see her. I'm gonna hold this up for a second or two. There she is. Remember, when they swarm, the queen has shrunk down some. She stops laying eggs, she shrinks on down. That's what's left in the tree. Now they're a little ornery. They're grabbing my hands and all. Now we may have another queen up there. We're gonna find out. stinger on my back. I don't feel good. Let's see what they do now. Now, they fly, they all fly back up. We know we got a queen up there. I'm looking for a, a larger mated queen possibly, but I think that might be her. Usually find that one. Yeah, there they go. There they go. There they go. That's what we're looking for. They're all going in the box now. You see them marching? We're still going to look for a queen. Just never know. Nope. Sent a big old drone, thought it was a queen. Yeah, they're going to the back of the box. That's where she's at. See, they're all heading this way now. That's where she's at. I'm gonna shut this in a second. There they go. I think she's the one. I think she is the one. Here's what we gotta do. We're gonna shut this. We're going to let them find the entrance. I'll shake a few in front of the entrance so they can fan. So now we're gonna shake them by the entrance. See where I just shook them in the grass? Now we're gonna fire up the smoker, smoke them off the branch. There they go. There you go, guys. That's her. She's the one. If she's caged, it makes it easy.
Ain't nothing but a few out here. Trying to go ahead and get them all plugged up and called to the house. The honeybee, amazing creation of God's, I tell you. All right, we got next to none in the air, so what I'm gonna do is see if we can get them all on into there as many as we can get, and we're gonna plug the entrance and go to the house. If it's a little closer, I wouldn't even plug the entrance. They'll hang out. Go. go on in there girls it's nice and easy they're just fanning just telling everybody where they at they'll be left behind come on girls get in there alright that's good enough they like well hey guys Hi, I'm coming to you on my third video ending that I'm trying to record. I recorded one on the way back from that hive. I recorded one a little while later, then I'm recording this one. I just came back from the bee yard. It's hot and humid, and when it's hot and humid, man, my hair is, I'm dying here. I, my hair is so long, it's never this long. Um, I keep it high and tight normally, but the barbers are closed right now in this day and age, and we all know why. But uh, ironically enough, the person that called me to this swarm was my barber. He and his wife, they, they uh, cut my hair. They run a barber shop, but they're closed. So anyway, I went to do this swarm. Uh, pretty cut and dry. You see, my method is a scoop method when I can. I like to, if I can reach them and it's easy and I don't have to cut a bunch, I just like to scoop them up, scoop by scoop, and look for the queen. Because when I find the queen, man, all's well. I, it just makes everything so much easier. I, I go as, as least... Uh, invasive as I can now I'll progress into as the situation grows if I need to start cutting branches or shaking or whatever I'll do that but um, I always try to start slow if I have time and that's what I did so you saw it worked out the, the third I think second or third scoop if you notice in the video and I think I try I'm trying to point out when I edit it I had to set that scoop down because the bees began to get a little testy um, and, and I don't know they weren't getting testy that's the wrong word for it I was very, very sweaty because it's so humid, and a couple of them, you know, they'll be, they're drawn to your sweat because of the salt, and they got on my hair, and one got hung up. I was leaving them alone, wasn't messing with them, and uh, one got hung up and went to buzzing and popped, uh, popped me, and then one had gotten caught up in my jacket on my back. Um, they weren't being aggressive, they were just walking around, there was just a lot in the air. So once one of them stung me in the head, then they began to start pelting me on the head a little bit. And so I said, well, and it had just rained and it was starting to sprinkle again. So I put my veil on and set that cup of bees down. If you look close in the video, you'll see the bees begin to go back toward that cup. Now, I didn't see that until I was doing the editing or reviewing the video. And uh, I was like, wow, that was the one she was in. They, if I'd have seen that when I was editing, I mean, uh, uh catching them I probably would have probably would have found uh found her a little uh well I found her quick but probably would have known for sure she was in there or who I thought was her and look the bees followed her in they they gobbed on that cage they got on there and man that was a good catch but what I did not see and how I did not see it I don't know there was another queen in there tell me I want a queen I mean it looked like a queen to me and then she flew off and I showed you in the video where she was so I decided to go out here to the bee yard after a little while and go see if I could find her. Well, 
they were still festooned really hard around those frames and and then a bunch of them dropped off the bottom of the frame into the bottom so I couldn't find her. They're all over the one in the cage. But my, my concern was when I was reviewing the video, because I, what I did was I came home and I decided, you know what, it's, uh, I gotta work tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and just take it easy the rest of the day, get me a shower, got the swarm catch done, work on a little video, do a little reading. And um, got me a shower, got my shorts comfortable. Went back to that location, brought them guys some honey. I normally bring honey with me, but I forgot it. Um, so I brought them some honey. I like to bring honey to the people that uh, call me on the swarms. And I decided to do the video ending on the way back. I was nice and clean. Well, so I get home, I start reviewing some of the video I shot, and I see that queen plain as day, and then walks out all by herself, and then flies off. So, um, chances are she went back in the box, because none of them were in the trees. By the time I left, everything was out of the air, and was on the box. I mean, there were two or three bees in the air, but nothing was in the air. So I went to go look for her, and I did not find her. And what I was concerned about, that's what I meant to start saying to you, was I was concerned that now they have a mated queen, even though the virgin's caged, they might still leave. So I went in there, no chance of finding her right now. They're still all over the place. So what I did was I took a drawn frame with some nectar and pollen in it. it, has a little bit of nectar and some open space, and I put a frame of brood out of a really good hive in there, and that'll hold them for a day or two. Um, and so went out there, I did that, got that settled, and... I'm gonna leave them alone. Um, they should be fine. And then what I'll do is go in tomorrow after work and I'll take a gander and see, that that should spread them out some. And then once they spread out, maybe I can find her. Cause I'd really like to um, take that virgin and put her in a two frame with a frame of brood and uh, some bees and let her mate. But, uh, but if I don't see the other queen, well, I'll go ahead and let the virgin loose cause she's gonna have to get mated. And um, I'm gonna go from there. Catch went easy, went really well. And the virgin drew them all in, so maybe that was just an odd-looking bee. Looked like a queen to me. Who knows? Bees will humble you every chance they get. And when you decide to get prideful and think you know what they're doing, they'll fix your wagon quick. We shall see what happens. We got brood in there. It's going to start emerging. We got a little bit of food in there for them. We got some bee bread in there for them. We got some frames for them to start drawing on that have already started been drawn, so... That should be good enough. We got a caged queen. Go in there tomorrow, get that thing rectified. Well, all right, guys. I sure hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad you could come along. I'm glad I could uh, take you along with me. If you did like the video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know when I upload videos. And look, share it with your friends, your family, and share it with anybody who just enjoys watching bees. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon, and God bless y'all.